Um, you know, I saw Isaiah Stewart and Sadiq Bay with both uh, our rookie team. So you know, I feel like that's a, a direct correlation of, you know, what that staff is doing with their players and, and you know, the amount of time they put into development. So, uh, I mean, that's a good indication in itself. That's something I like to see. And both of those guys are, you know, rookies. So young core, you know, things going well for them. Obviously, they didn't have the season that they wanted last year, but, you know, that's a lot of things to build off of. So, um, you know, I've learned a lot. I learned a lot from them on my visit and then, you know, just doing research after the lottery. Yeah, I, I love Detroit. I've, I've already, you know, been listening to Detroit music and things like that way before draft lottery, any of that stuff. So I was already hip to the, you know, culture in Detroit. Um, I mean, it's, it's a city that has a lot of things going on and I feel like, you know, getting a, a sports team rolling again will be huge for the city. So, you know, Detroit picks me out. That's, you know, the main thing I'm gonna try to do is step in, embody, you know, the swag that people from Detroit walk with, the people from, you know, Michigan in general, they kind of have a, a underdog, go get what you want, you know, feel to them. And I like that about the city. So if I am able to go in there and be the number one pick, you know, I'm gonna try to carry that same swag and how I walk on the court and, you know, make the most out of wearing red, white, and blue for sure. So let's get straight into it, guys. Um, I don't wanna make this long, but I got some important things to say, like always. Um, He's a Motown man. I want to start there, and I, I don't use that lightly. I want to say that too. Um, I have, you know, called some a few former Pistons, you know, Motown men, and you know they had that chip on their shoulder. But I mean it. I really do mean it when I'm when I'm talking with Kate Cunningham, and and I've been right, guys. Let me say this: I've been right. I've been accurate. I've predicted the future. I've been right. Okay proud of myself for that but there's a reason why I was right it's because I'm not looking I wasn't looking at the same things every scout was looking at with Cade I, I told you guys about his ability to shoot how he's going to be able to create space for Sadiq how he's going to be able to create space for Isaiah hell how he's going to be able to put some pressure off of Killian and ball you know that that ball domination that Killian couldn't really handle how he's going to be able to expand his game um I didn't talk a lot about his ability to play defense, which is, you know, unfortunate, but he can smother. Dude is seven foot wingspan, six eight, can completely smother somebody. Okay, and we've seen it, one through four, like I said, can guard. But the more important things and things I wanted to highlight today and the things that I saw from those clips, man, was that one, he's wanted to be here the whole time. And two, he wants to be the number one pick. Not only that, he's selfless. He's cut from a different cloth. This is not Evan Mobley. And we're talking mentality now. We're not talking about on court. We're talking about maturity, the ability to lead. Okay, the ability to say, like I said last time, not what somebody can do for me, but how can I improve the team? How can I fulfill into them? How can I change my game to fit? Not how can they change the team? That's what I'm seeing out of him, a selflessness, character. That's why I've been right, guys. He had a quote. He said, Detroit fits me. This is Cade. That's the main thing I'm going to try to do is step in and embody the swag of Detroit. The way the people walk, the way the, the people from Michigan in general, they're the underdogs. They go. They have that go get what you want feel. And it's just it's, it's just like that about the city. Those are his words, guys. And so I was right. I don't know about the media, but I was right. It's $11 million, man, guaranteed the first year, I believe, or something crazy. You think somebody's going to give that up? That first spot is gold. Black men across the country dream of sitting in that spot their whole entire lives. And I noticed something about the city of Dallas, man. It's very similar to Detroit. People think it's easy for black men in, the, in these, you know, predominantly black cities. It's not. Okay, we actually get more hell than we would in, you know, if it was the other way around. We get more. It's harder. We get profiled more. 
okay? We it, It's not easy being a black man in Detroit. It's not easy being a black man in Dallas, okay? And usually, guys come out with a certain level of character and hustle, which is good, man. An edge, which is good. Usually, some humility, which is good. But you don't usually get it all in one package, man. You don't, you never get the full package. You got the full package in Cade. And what I see in these videos, him talking about the GM, Troy Weaver, him talking about Sadiq, him talking about his relationship with Isaiah, and him wanting to fit in, guys, he did that himself. He put himself in those shoes. He's saying, I want that. I'm claiming it. Okay, I don't see that out of, out of uh, Evan Mobley, and it's a it's a big red flag. Dude is silent. Dude is a cucumber, a banana, or a sweet potato, or something, man. How are you gonna lead? And you know you're like a ghost. And I don't mean to be you know disrespectful or anything, but this is we're not in the position where we can go another season like we had okay we had the season that we had last season that was what we wanted to do we were happy with what we did and we're happy with the position we're in now we're not gonna waste it there was never a chance we could waste it okay i don't want to say too much once again like comment subscribe tell me guys what you think of these clips too man okay him him meeting pretty much with the whole fucking city man Having an interview with the whole city, showing his face around, okay? Being the guy that's approachable, being the guy that's acceptable, being the guy that everybody wants to, you know, the role model. What happened to that? We lost that, man, a long time ago in sports, especially here in Detroit, man, with our entertainers. I thought it was pretty cool how he knew more entertainers than me from the city, okay? Although I do like 4-2 Doug, but... Um, seems like a guy that, you know, is going to be able to step onto an NBA court and start reproducing some of those things we saw in high school and college. Those 40 point games, guys. I expect that stuff hit his rookie year. I expect, you know, games where he's dominating on both sides. With his shooting ability and what the Pistons have. There was not another team that could really offer us what, uh, what you know, what was deserved. Like I told you guys, it was. We're talking about Jason Tatum, okay. So that is that's a transcendent player on the offense, and with Cade on the defense as well. So it's Ben Simmons with his shot, possibly the next Grand Hill that I've been, like uh, I've been told, but. Um, definitely a Motown man and the man for the moment right now, the man we need guys. So like, comment, subscribe, and I love you guys, man.